the iPhone 7, uh, it seems like this is water damage. Look at the amount of water inside, so you must have dropped it in the water. Okay. Right, people. iPhone 7 here. Liquid damage. Um, I've just sprayed a bit of uh, alcohol over it, and I'll put a bit more on. Okay, and let's see if the iPhone smokes, because I believe there is a capacitor there. That's going to start smoking. So I'll keep the camera, switch on this device, this uh, iPower thing, Pro. And you will see the IPA sizzling away, basically. So, see that? So I've got a short there. There are other areas where the uh, where I have a bit of an issue with the components. They look to be corroded, but uh, we will we will see. Let's sort of uh, zoom in a bit more, um, and then let's uh, try and uh, switch on the eye power, and you shall see it smoking away. There we go. I'll probably throw in a bit more alcohol. No harm done. Woo! Look at that. Anyway, that's at 1.5 amp. So uh, let's remove this capacitor um, and uh, see where we're at with it. All right, guys. Just a quick follow. Sorry, I've got a mouthful. Um, the capacitor that was uh, barbecuing, um, which is the C3308 here, in the circuit diagram, that was shorted. After removing it here, see if I can get a angle. There we go. You can see that's been removed. Okay, the short has gone away now. So when I turn the power, um, the uh, eye power, watch what happens. That's the current draw from the phone. That's all connected. And it goes back to zero amp, which means that the short has been removed and hopefully that the board should post. But uh, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm going to put an LCD on. Is that needed? Hmm. I'll try and sort of uh, replace it from a donor board. If not, I won't worry about it too much. But I would still like to sort of put it on if, if, it's, if it's doable. So, uh, but let's see if the board posts anyway. Right, after removing the cap shorted capacitor, uh, which is here from the iPhone 7 that suffered a liquid damage. This capacitor was on this line, the uh, speaker boost line basically, there. And it goes to the U3301. And that was hissing away, uh, but getting barbecued uh, purely because of uh, liquid damage. Now I've removed this. I haven't put anything in place. Okay, this is the bench power supply. When I turn the eye power on, look at the behavior of the amperage. So here we go. And it goes down to zero amp, which means that the short has actually gone away. Um, <clears throat> if I try to turn the phone on, let me just bear with me. Okay, here we go. Zero amp, nothing. So I'm going to try and turn the phone on. And we have Apple logo. We'll just wait for this. Uh, Apple logo to well, for it to boot. So uh, let's see what's going on. Okay, and we should get a boot screen. Yep. So the repair has been successful. Just to follow up, um, I've replaced the uh, capacitor that was uh, bar getting barbecued before due to a liquid damage. Let me sort of zoom in. See if I can get the uh, right, okay, wrong camera. Okay, and you can see it there. Okay, just on the top, the first campus capacitor on the middle. Um, let's uh, show you with a bit of tweezer if I can. That one. That's the culprit that has been replaced. Phone did post, but I decided to put things the way it should be. So the capacitor's gone back in line which was, um, let's sort of get the schematic again. And that is uh, here on the iPhone 7. It's the C3308, 10 microfarad, 10 volt. Now, the way I tend to sort of uh, find these parts is that I buy a lot of scrap boards, like here. There's a lot of scrap boards. I've probably got another 50 somewhere, in, 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 well, in, in, in a top light uh, behind me. And... Um, 
what I do is I sort of uh, find the value, which is 10 microfarad, 20 volt, all, all for all to package, and then sort of search through some of the schematic on the board that I have um, and find the find the uh, value and the item. So what I've done effectively here, long story short, is I've looked for the C935 on phone board, uh, which is there, located where it was, and I desoldered it from that board, uh, exactly the same value, okay, and put it in here. And um, I've tested the cap, cap, cap's not shorted, fine. Um, I'm going to repower everything back on, make sure everything's okay, and then put the shield back in um, and uh, reassemble the phone. So uh, that's how I go about replacing the capacitors. The trouble is I have a long... Uh, I have several books of capacitors, but you can't be serious about stocking every single value and every single capacitors. So for that reason, I think the best way around it is to buy a scrap board and utilise parts of them, basically. Um, that's all. Thank you. And the phone is fixed. I do know if the phone is fixed because I booted it uh, before without the cap on. But as I said, I need to put. I would like to put the cap on in its original place. Uh, that's all. Thank you. Right. A success story iPhone 7 liquid damage, uh, one of the cap capacitors was um, sizzling away basically, it was, you know, getting barbecued. That's been removed and replaced. Now the phone's working, everything is working as it should be, the touch is working. There we go. There you go, the cameras are being picked up, let's just make sure. There we go, that's the camera and I will probably... There we go, the front camera. We'll go on to the most important fat is the Wi-Fi. Hang on. I've stopped using iPhone for a long time now, so you'll have to bear with me. The Wi-Fi has been picked up on. There we go. And then um, let's close these apps, go back to the settings, make sure the sound is working. There we go. So every Everything's working. The brightness control is also working. So yeah, I've, I've I've checked everything anyway. Everything is working as it should be. So another success story. It's repaired. It's going to get reunited to the customer tomorrow. All right. Take care and all the best.